and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I hope you're all having a wonderful week so far. Um, it's been a little while since I was here hasn't it? I've missed a sort of week of uploading. That's because I've been on holiday. I've had such a lovely week away. Myself, David, my cousin Laura, her husband Tom, her daughter Delia, her mum Marilyn, her friends Toby and Benedict and their dog Douglas and Laura's dog Betty. There was a whole host of us. How many I, how many breathing animals is that in together? Seven, eight, nine, ten of us went on holiday to the Lake District and stayed in the most beautiful house with the most beautiful views and just had such a wonderful week of sort of views, walking, wonderful company, playing so many games. Like we played games every single night, eating food, just loads of laughs and love and it was wonderful. It was really, really such a nice week. We had such a good time um, and I, I miss it already. We only got back yesterday, I'm filming this on Monday um, and we only got back yesterday and it just feels like it was a million years ago already. It was so, so lovely and it was really like needed I guess because I, I, I feel like I'm getting deja vu when saying this because I think I mentioned this in an Instagram post like I'm very fortunate that I've got a job um, that I enjoy um, and that I can sort of leave at work and um, although um, there are taxing times to my job I sort of am able to differentiate that between work and home um, but recently I've been really feeling like I needed a break so it come at a really really good time so it was nice to have sort of the week off last week and then I'm actually off today and tomorrow um too so it's just sort of like made it a week and a bit which has been really nice and it's been I haven't had that much time away from work since Christmas I don't think so that's really nice that I've been able to spend that much time away from work um and yeah so back to work this week it'll be fine but it was nice to have a break so but while I was away I had planned to sort of vlog and I had plans for like vlogging and also a reading vlog and also I was going to do my lovely chat when I was there and it just turned out that I was just having such a relaxing lovely time and like some days we didn't even really know what the time was we just sort of just got on with it and would play games for a few hours and then sit in the sun and I sort of sat on a blanket and just read and I don't even know how long I read for because I was just there I didn't have a watch or a phone on me or anything that the sort of the filming and everything fell by the wayside which I sort of thought oh I always love it when I vlog because then I've always got that to look back on but I just feel like the the, the week was so full of like lovely in the moment moments <laughs> um that it was just nice just to sort of enjoy them so I didn't vlog and I sort of let the channel sort of sweep by um without without much attendance but um I'm sure you're all fine yeah. <laughs> and, um, and it was nice just to have a break away from it one thing it did make me think about though was that I have a um, an uploading schedule where I upload on a Wednesday, a Friday, and a Sunday. And I just wondered if you guys could tell me if you take much notice of that. Do you? Do you? Not that anyone thinks. Oh, Laura, it's Sunday. Laura's got a video coming up. But do you? Did you notice that I upload on those days? Um, because I've done. I've always done that since I started the channel. I've always uploaded like even when I was just uploading once a week. It was always on a particular day. And as it got bigger, I sort of did one in the week and one at the weekend, and then two sort of at the weekend and one in the week and I was just wondering if, if people do take notice of that or if I was to just sort of upload as I make videos how people would feel about that because I know that really works for some people it might not even work for me um, but I was thinking of maybe sort of like trialing it for a bit and just as I make videos sort of upload them um, as I go how would people feel about that or or is it nice that I upload on those particular days I think uh, me saying this is making me think oh no it's much better for you just to upload on those days because you know you've got to upload on those days so but yeah I just thought it, it might be a, a good point of discussion to find out what you guys think about that so yeah let's uh, let me know what you feel feel about that um I am the summer fun is continuing Minnie's down here like she missed us so much Minnie can you let me pick you up here she is her fluff's growing back so much she's like a little teddy bit oh that's a shame isn't it you not want to be friends? There's a little tale of her. Um, we let, that's the longest we've ever left her. Um, we've only ever left her for, we, we never normally go away for like seven days. We only really go on holiday for like five days at a time. Um, so to be away for seven days was, because we tagged on an extra day because we visited Simon um, and his husband Chris on the way up there. Um, so we were away quite a long time. So when we got back, we were like, Minnie! Um, and it just, she just looks really different. I mean, we've only been away a week, but um, yeah, she looks really different. So it's very nice to be back. And also added bonus today, I just found her sitting in her bed today and I hadn't even forced her in there, which is normally what happens. She's just lazing about over there. Look at her. What you up to, Minnie? You being cute? You just lazing around? You're nice. 
Uh, one thing I did film when I was away um, was I started filming a sort of currently reading because that was going to be part of my thing. So I mentioned um, I talked briefly about three books that I'd started reading. So I will insert that footage at the end of this video so you can see what I had um, been currently reading. But as I said, I'm off tomorrow as well. So the, the fun has not yet stopped. Tomorrow I'm going to... Why are you being here? Boop, boop, boop. Um, tomorrow I'm going to Margate with Emma from the channel Drinking by My Shelf who also runs the Book Break channel because we're filming a video for Book Break which is very exciting. Um, so I'm getting the train down to there tomorrow. Always excited about a train journey because I feel like I get to read on the train which is exciting. Um, so I'm getting the train down to there tomorrow then we're going to be filming in um, Margate. I feel like maybe a, a few other sort of seaside towns as well. What I'm most excited about is there, there is a new independent bookshop um, opening in Margate which I've been meaning to go to for a long time. Uh, I think it's been open since the beginning of June um, so it'll be nice to finally get an opportunity to go there so the fun is not yet over I'm not back to work until Wednesday which I think is when this video is going up um, and yeah I will link the book break channel down below the video itself won't be linked down below because I don't know when it's going up we haven't even filmed it yet um, but yeah do go and check out Emma's channel and the book break channel um, so yeah I think that's it in terms of a lovely chat I'm gonna as I said tag on the old uh, tag on the old currently reading um, at the end we got what have we got for dinner? Squash and spinach curry for dinner tonight. And it's out of green roasting tin, obviously. Um, but it's one that I haven't made before, which is rare because I've made almost everything out of it. And it's also not got a picture, which is the only reason that's happening. David will not allow anything to be cooked that doesn't have a picture. So when it's out of his control, um, that's when I start thinking, I'll just cook that. So that's exciting. And then Emma's here. She's watching the video. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, we, we, I think we're going to play Harry Potter double. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, and then maybe we will watch some telly. Taskmaster final? Yeah. Or Louis Theroux? Andrew Theroux? Scott. Andrew Scott. Black Mirror? Oh, no, I do want to watch it, but I do feel like a bit nervous about it. Okay. I just always feel nervous when I've got to watch Black Mirror. I don't think they're supposed to be scary, these ones. Okay. I mean, maybe we'll watch that. Um, and also, maybe Love Island? your house my house my rules um so yes so that's it i hope you're all well as i said i will insert the footage now of um the books that i was currently reading um, at the beginning of the holiday didn't really continue much uh, with the filming but hope you're all having a lovely week um very what, what have i got that's coming out that's exciting oh i'll tell you what is exciting i've just filmed a summer games video um that will be out on friday um i have got a selection of games many of which i played last week um and i've made into a video of summer games uh, David and I made a video like years ago um, about uh, games that we like to play and this is like much more in depth. I've done, I wrote so many notes on it guys and I was actually sent a few games from Ridley's Games which is very exciting because I hadn't played those games before. Um, so yeah, a few games that I played last week I have mentioned uh, in a summer videos game and that will be going up on Friday. Anyway, this is the currently reading footage. I hope you're all having a lovely week and I'll see you all again soon. This is something a bit different. I'm on holiday this week. Today's the first official day of the holiday. I'm actually in Simon's Library because we've stopped up. We stopped at Simon's on the way to the Lake District. And what I thought I'd do is I'd do a sort of vlog vloggy but very loosely vloggy um currently reading video so i'm going to talk about the books that i have uh, the book that i started last night because this is like although we've had a lovely time so far this is a first official day of the holiday because we're going to be getting to the lake district um this is hopefully going up on <laughs> simon's here he hasn't got any trousers on so <laughs> it's censored can you, can you come in without trousers? Oh, fine. <laughs> Yesterday was the first day of a holiday. Yes. Holiday of a life. Holiday of my life. Um, so, yeah, so I, I thought I'd talk about the books that I've just started. So last night, as I was going to bed, I started Happy Fat by Sophie Hagen um, and very much enjoyed this. I actually, I feel like I've mentioned this in my TBR, but I picked this up from the library because I love the cover so much because she's drawn a, a happy face on her lovely tum-tum. Um, and... I didn't know Sophie, anything about Sophie, and a lot of people said, oh, I really love her stuff, so she's a comedian, and um, I, I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this. So very early days in this book, I've read the introduction, and I'm in halfway through um, chapter one called My Fat Body, where she's spoken about her childhood, and I'm actually hearing about her teenage years as a fat teenager, and like a lot of it rings true with, with me. I was always like warned, oh, be careful when you eat that, Lauren, because you might put on weight, or you could do with moving a bit more, and blah, 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 and like um, having to be forced to have showers at middle school my god like that now just feels fucking horrific that that happened um but yeah i feel like i'm gonna really enjoy this um and that's the first book i've picked up so far so that's that simon and i are about to film a video for his channel i will let 
I mean, I'm sure you will know who Simon is, but I will link his channel down below if you haven't already seen that. We're going to film, what are we filming him? Reading, Reading Horizons. Horizons. That's, the, we... that's the front cover I've got of Swimming Home. Yeah. Yeah. What we've read, what we are reading, what we're going to read next. That's what we're going to film for Simon's like channel. I feel David in one of your videos now. It's like off, off screen. screen. <laughs> off screen. Um, and then we'll probably make our way. We need to get to the property for three o'clock. Um, and I've got to get some socks on the way because I'm going like I'm going on holiday basically to do loads of walking. What is one of the main things you would need for a walking holiday? Socks. I've not got any socks, so we've got to get socks on the way. I also want to get a um, nail varnish as well. So, oh, this is like Inception, because now Simon's filming me while I'm filming myself. Anyway, got to get on. Bye. It's a Crabtree goes fishing written by a guy called Bernard Venables. Yeah. And Bernard was old school. Uh, just checking in with the second book. It is Gone Fishing by Bob Mortimer and Paul Whitehouse. David and I have been listening to it. We've got just like about two hours 40 left. Um, so we're going to maybe listen to that a bit, little bit during the week and if not finish it on the way home but um, David I feel like I've said this a million times over a thousand different videos but David and I have got quite different hi David by the way Hi. <laughs> David and I have got quite different tastes when it comes to audiobooks um, he's very much into well I mean you don't even really like no, audiobooks really like do audiobooks, you no. but he does like podcasts and he does like British comedy I think it's safe yeah. to say both of those things that's all our stuff in the back by the way um, and this uh, Gone Fishing um, audiobook David watched a series of it Bob Mortimer and Paul Whitehouse are two um, British comedians I think they're like in their late 50s aren't they yeah, yeah. Um, and they're it's getting, we're diving through trees so it's quite dark um, and there's a TV show on BBC2 where they are go fishing they both had quite severe um, health problems with their hearts um, in their early 50s and this is a sort of like recovery thing that they're doing um, and he loves that program I've not watched it but he loves it and I saw that there was an audiobook and what's different about this audiobook which I really really like is that it's not just read so there's a book of it but it, the, the audiobook isn't just a carbon copy of the book it's like they know what they've got to talk about but it's almost like um almost like, like ad-libbed isn't it like a podcast so yeah. and also they've got bonus information they've got bonus material on this in that you hit you you hear them go for a fishing trip and stuff it's just really really lovely i've actually been surprised by how much i've loved it it's really really nice to hear two people speak so passionately about a hobby um i was actually like quite moved when bob mortimer was talking about like his like when he's been fishing with paul and he knows he's not as good as paul oh god the scenery around here is just look at the houses it's just so lovely lovely but lovely roundabout here but no really oh we're, oh, we're going down there we are going oh down nice there. oh it's really hold nice. your horses guys look at that over there Oh, it's just lovely. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just been really, really fun to listen to. And it's about, not only is it, but I'd say it's quite minimally about fishing, isn't it? Yeah. It's majority about sort of friendship and recovery and looking after yourself after a health scare. And um, they're just both really funny. They're really good at like riffing off each other. And I've just been really, really enjoying it. And you've been enjoying it too. Yeah, I love it. It's very, very good. It's, is it better than you thought it was going to be? Um, it was... No, it was exactly how I was hoping it was going to be. Yeah. Because I, I feel like if it was if it was them just reading off a book, you, you kind of these two because they've been friends for over thirty years, so they've got a very good, they've got a very good uh, like bounce between them. Yeah. And it really comes across well. And it's, it's not lost in it, has it? No, it's definitely not. No. It's exactly like the TV series. So if you listen to it or read it and you like it, make definitely go and yeah. check out. Yeah. And series. if you like the TV series, then this book is the perfect. Yeah, exactly. Because it's perfect still, it's still on iPlayer. Yeah. And, and the second series, I think. Is out in the next few weeks. Yeah, they were talking about it. I feel like we're really going on about this, but they were talking about it um, and, and the series. And um, Bob Mortimer himself said it's almost boring. He says it's like yeah. borderline boring, but it's just something really comforting and yeah. like nostalgic and uh, about it. That it's is just, just a lovely program to yeah. have on if you just want to chill and just not have to concentrate no. but find it really funny. It's been very, very good. Anyway, we are about 25, 25 minutes away from minutes. our um, Airbnb. We're so excited to get there. We think Laura, Maz, Delia and Betty are about five minutes ahead of us, maybe. Yeah, or maybe um, behind, yeah, we're going to be there pretty much So we think we're going to be there about the same time and then it's an unpacking, washing the journey off moment. Um, and yeah, I imagine I'll start a new book this evening. So I'll check in with you then. Bye. Hiya. Yeah. This is our view out the window. It's amazing. You can't really see me there. Um, that's our view out the window. It's absolutely amazing. I, we just got back from going out to lunch, which was lovely. Oh, look, my room, the room is not at its best. Um, I thought I'd just fill you in with the, the old currently reading. Where is it? 
Oh. So, for my first night, as planned, I picked up Orange Horses by Maeve Kelly um, to read the first short story. And I think I was just so tired, I couldn't even begin to, to start it. So, um, I haven't read anything from here yet. Um, however, I'm just about to start Disobedience by Naomi Alderman. Um, I think we're going to have a little sit down. This, this the, the, the house here is absolutely amazing. But there's like a sitting room with no like where the dining room is with chair. I'm going to sit down on my bed. Oh, this bed is so comfy, by the way. Dave and I have had the best night's sleep ever. Um, and then there's a room with a little telly in and stuff. So I think I'll sit in one of the quiet, the quiet room and have a little go on this. And also I'm going to have a little go on the ordnance survey puzzle book as well, because yeah, we're on, it's Wednesday. So this should have gone up this morning, but I'm going to put it up this evening. Um, but yeah, reading is going just, just, chilling out and just having a wonderful time reading isn't like top of my top of the things I'm doing this week which is just it's been unusual but nice still so yeah gonna um crack on with some reading this afternoon